Hello and welcome back to my channel or if you're new, welcome. I hope you're here to stay. Today I'm going to speak about a hair growth mask. If you want to see results faster, you obviously have to do it a bit more often, like once a week or twice a week. The base ingredient for that is castor oil because castor oil is absolutely amazing for regenerating your hair and everywhere you want your hair to regenerate, just apply castor oil. If you want it on your eyebrows, eyelashes, and you know the roots of your hair obviously you're gonna apply it at the roots I usually focus the application of castor oil at the roots of my hair I don't really apply it on the length of my hair because it's quite a thick viscose oil and it's very hard to apply on the length as well it doesn't stretch it doesn't move around like other oils but uh, you could apply it on the length as well it's just that I feel like it's a waste of product and what it can do if you apply it on the length focus the castor oil mainly on the scalp I only apply it on the scalp and massage it in uh, and I first start the application of the mask on the length leave the application of the castor oil on the scalp just at the end after i finished applying the oils on the length i'm saying oils is because there are more oils involved in this particular hair mask it's basically a warm oil hair mask the oils involved on the length of the hair they're gonna be warm apply it warm and the castor oil it's just called castor oil, you put it on your fingers uh, and just massage it into your scalp really really well all over the place and let me show you how to do it sweet almond oil is the first oil we're gonna use vitamin E Moroccan argan oil, mine is from the ordinary and coconut oil basically we're gonna mix all these oils together I'm gonna use one teaspoon of each oil mix them all so they can be friends and blend with each other and then put them in the micro for about 20 seconds i put them for about 20 seconds because i want the coconut oil to melt and for the mask to be warm the oils need to be lukewarm and not hot so be careful don't make them hot uh, they have to be a safe temperature to be applied on your hair I always start with combing my hair before applying any hair mask and I make sure I put the mask in the sink because especially since it's oils I don't want to make a mess and I usually do that with my face masks as well so make sure you're careful especially since it's oil maybe it's best to do it in, you know in the shower not under running water but just put it in the sink make sure you're careful so yeah applying uh, these oils on the length of my hair all over the place and they are absolutely amazing because for example coconut oil would add luster and shine and softness to the hair and prevents hair breakage and split ends and it's contributing to hair length as well so that's really good argan oil naturally increases the hair's elasticity and restores shines to dull and lifeless hair so I do love these oils these oils combined it's like a miracle super oil mask and now, ta-da, for the star of the show is the castor oil. This is what is going to actually contribute to really making your hair grow and regenerate. And I keep it in that really nice bottle you saw there. It's from a body shop thing I had in serum something, but it looks nice. Um, yeah, I massage this all over my scalp and I really take the time to do that because it it's relaxing and I don't get to go for massages very often actually none at all and uh, I make the most out of this situation um, I just put it between my fingers like that and massaging to my scalp all over the place and I use my fingers don't use your nails because you don't want to damage your scalp don't scratch your scalp just use the fingertips after you finish doing this, just leave it on for about an hour or more if you have dishes to wash, you know. I hope you liked my hair mask recipe and I think it's fairly easy to do and you can just do that 
um, you know, on the day that you know you're gonna wash your hair anyway. Even though I would say one thing, if you had products previously in your hair and you think, okay, that's the day in which I'm gonna wash my hair, but you have some, you know, um, mousse in your hair or mousse, is that how it's called? That voluminous thing that I sometimes put, actually, I don't remember how it's called. If you had products in your hair and then the day comes in which you want to wash your hair, I would say it's not really great to massage castor oil along with the products that are already on your scalp because you're gonna just massage all that products, all those products that you already have on your scalp. It doesn't sound like very um, clean to me. I wouldn't advise doing that. You have to have no product on your hair ideally when you apply this mask because you wanna give your hair goodness. So preferably, and actually it would be ideally is not to have any products in your hair. Especially dry shampoo, maybe you shouldn't massage the castor oil into the dry shampoo that's already there because yeah, just if you're gonna do this mask, try and make it on a clean scalp fairly clean scalp that only has your natural oils on. Ideally don't have product on your scalp when you apply a mask. Just like the skin you have to have a cleansed scalp, like cleansed skin when you apply a mask. So you make sure that your skin receives the goodness and your the hair follicle receives the goodness that you're about to put on the scalp, right? So that's all from me. That's my recipe. I hope it will give you uh, fast results. The more you do the mask, the faster the results, obviously. Make sure you eat the right healthy things as well because that's always helpful and that's the first step for health in your just body in general to be healthy and health that shows through your skin shows through your hair your nails and yeah it's i mean it's it's very obvious thank you so much for watching and until next video bye